hello welcome to this video in this video we will talk about a set in dynamics 365 fno it means finance and operation and in this video we will talk about x plus plus code so first in this video we will know uh, the theoretical part that what is set and how we can use what is the uh, requirement of it and then we will move to the coding section so what is the set the set is a class actually and it is used for storage and retrieval purpose of the data from a collection from a collect collection means it will contain a, a few elements it's a collection it may contain four five or hundreds of elements inside a set and in which the value of the element container unique uh, the what uh, the element uh, what will be the element inside the set it should be unique and it serves as the key value according to which the data is automatically ordered and the second point is saying that the value may be of any x plus plus type so whenever you are creating a set all the uh, elements should be the same type but uh, you can change the type of a particular set so you have to specify while you are creating the object of that class so at that time you have to specify the type of the set and the next point uh, so i'll show you uh, this point in uh, practical session also how you can specify uh, the uh, type of the set and the next point is saying that all the value inside set must have the same data type so if it is if the set is containing integer then all the elements should be integer if it is containing string then all the elements should be string like this and the next point is when a value that is already stored in the set is added so for example i have a set which is having 12 13 14 element inside it so if i'll i want to add 13 again inside the set it should not take in it should not it should not take it should say uh, it should ignore because the 13 element is already present this is the uh, basic properties of the set so when a value that is already stored in the set is added it is ignored and does not increase the number of element in the set and if we'll um, uh, find the length of the set then it should uh, it should not uh, add uh, it should not increase the number of the element in the set and and the length will be same and the next point is the value stored in the set can be traversed using object of the type the set enumerator so you have to specify the set enumerator and through which uh, you can traverse all the elements inside the set and the concept of set are stored in a way that facilitates the efficient lookup of the elements so these are the some basic properties of the set now we'll move to the practical session so here in this system you can see that i have declared and created a runnable runnable class and inside the runnable class you can see that there is a main method and the name uh, i have just given the name of the uh, class is like this set class example and inside it i have a main method and you can see there i have specified the set class and i have created an object with a name my set and uh, if you want to create an object then you have to specify the new keyword and after that you have to uh, specify the set and inside it you have to specify the type of that set so if you want to create this type of integer then you have to specify integer and you can see several uh, data type is available so you can create a like uh, you can take any data type so in my case i am just using uh, integer 64 and we have to traverse the set that is why we are taking uh, the set enumerator object that is ac okay and if you want to uh, add the element inside the set then you have to uh, use the add method so you have to give the object name of your set and you have to specify the you have to call uh, the add method and you have to pass the element 12 so it will 12 element will be add added in your set this way you can uh, call add method and give the 40 
so 1 by 1 12 14 15 element will be added in your set and to iterate over or to iterate over the set you have to uh, create a AC element which is already specified here and now this time uh, you have to call the get enumerator so what we will do it will create a iteratable object now using this object you can loop through uh, your set so uh, you have to check the ac dot uh, uh, move next element so that you can uh, uh, go each an element inside the uh, set and here you can see we are checking the ac dot current so what is the meaning of that uh, whatever the current element will be present in the set that element will be um, called uh, like this so this is this means the element inside uh, the particular current element inside the uh, list and now in this uh, in this statement we are just printing that current element and we are also uh, giving one another conditions to uh, find out the element 15 so if when the current element will be 15 it will show that identify the set element so we are just finding out the 15 element is present inside our uh, set or not so like this way you can uh, you can identify a particular element uh, which is present inside a set and after that uh, if the ac dot current element will not be there it will directly go to the else part and it will break from the while loop so if there will be no element inside um, the set it will directly break from the while loop otherwise it will be a uh, infinite while loop so that's why we uh, require this break condition so if you run this code it will iterate over the list so first it will print 12 then it will print 14 then it will 15 and in case of 15 uh, it this condition particular condition will be meet uh, this condition will be satisfied and after that it will go inside it and it will print identify the set element so like this way if you uh, save it build and run you will get the output so if you run it you will get uh, this kind of output so it will you can see here that it will print 12 14 15 and at last it will also print identify the set element because of the element 15 and why this 15 actually printed because each time uh, in this info statement we are also printing each and every element in case of 15 it is also printing and after that it is going inside this if condition and it is printing like this and after that if the element will not be there it will break the loop so this way we can you can use uh, uh, actually set and other than this add move next and uh, current there are several uh, other methods also available you can just go to the mstn document you can read from there also so i hope uh, this is clear for you if you have any question you can write it in the comment section uh, so i'll try to answer it as much as possible uh, so thank you see you in the next video take care bye bye